how do you use AI to help you do this job better? In what aspects do you use? Can you give me some examples? It's a very good question because AI has been the buzzword for quite some years now, right? And since 2020, when OpenAI released ChatGPT, everybody was scrambling for their jobs. Oh, they're going to take our jobs and, and we won't have anywhere. It will replace everybody. Well, it, it's not this. I, I want okay. to say that it, it's not happening. I'm still here. It's been four years since I'm Levi I-9. Nobody, I haven't been replaced yet with a, <laughs> with a bot. The idea is that right now, I think AI helps us and, and pushes us to be more creative and to focus a bit on the creative side of things and the relationship side of things. I'll leave AI do the legwork, the stuff that you don't feel like doing when you drink your coffee in the morning. You don't feel like doing a report. You don't feel like, I don't know, looking through historical data, digging through charts. I'll leave our leaven to do that. And I'll just try to think, okay, how can I approach my customer to discuss an issue, something that's burning? How can we bring more value? Uh, this, this sounds like the best case scenario when it comes to AI, like yeah. from what everybody's saying. The scenario where you manage to use the AI to offload some of the more repetitive, less interesting, whatever work, so you can focus on the higher value, more creative, more interesting work. You can actually use AI in quite a lot of circumstances. But you could integrate AI because quite a lot of companies are pushing it. You could use it if you use Jira, if you use anything mm-hmm. from Microsoft because they're pushing for Copilot. And if you use Azure DevOps, you also have AI there. Uh, there's a lot of things. If you use project management tools like Asana or Monday, mm-hmm. they're also integrated with AI. And you could have quite a lot of process automation being done that could help you alleviate yeah. part of your work.